Hey everyone. Looks like we are good to go. I'm going to be playing some more Diablo 3 tonight. I'm going to start in just a minute here. Uh, let's see, I hit... I have a friend online. <laughs> Let's see, I hit Axe 3 last night, uh, well not last night, a couple nights ago. I had spent a couple days since I've been on. Um, yeah, I'll probably play for a few hours tonight, we'll see how everything's going. Let's go ahead and go in game. I kind of screwed up when I was playing it last time and I uh, skipped the cutscenes, but that's okay. <laughs> the Keep's defenses cannot hold. It should the Keep fall. The Keep will All right. like the signal fire. Show be so good that we are not yet defeated. Salvation has arrived. Go, you are needed below. You know, let's play around with a different oh, skill. Stone's getting hotter, straining against me, mm. whispering to me from inside. I've heard Demons locust swarm is pretty used a lot Your now. Power can keep it from splitting apart, my daughter. Yeah, we'll try it out. Why not? But the fate of the world we'll see how Locust Swarm mute goes. I've never really used that a whole lot, but I've heard it's popular. At least now it is. Alright, let's see. What do you want, cat? Ooh, new potions. Hi, Zaydana. Can you hear my kitty? She's, uh, that one's one of the Siamese ones. She's very vocal. Hi, Red Swoon and Tulane. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming in. Let's see here. What did we get? Nothing good. Nothing good. Nothing good. So depressing getting a rare weapon and it sucks. Yeah, same with that. I'm just going to salvage all this. <laughs> She's a very vocal cat. Whereas the other one, not so much. They're like night and day difference between both of them. One's very active, one's not. Alright, so let's get started with Act 3. I kind of like this act. It's pretty fun. It's, um. <laughs> the story is really bad. So Locust Swarm is kind of cool. It, um. It, it jumps to extra enemies and stuff like that and does pretty good damage, so... Uh, we'll play around with it. Well... The problem with the story in Act 3 is Asmodan, the, uh... The evil. Every time you do something, he shows up, he's like, Well, that didn't really matter, but here's my next plan. And, uh... Like, literally, it's like... Like, when you uh, destroy, like, one of his armies that are assaulting this place, he, s he pops up and he says, I don't need my places. I can hear the cries of so it's pretty bad. That's Locust Swarm, these guys. You can see the little green things jumping between all the people, so... I don't know if we've run into Molten before, but do not want to run into that explosion. Ooh, rare chain boots. Mm, nah. Hello! I couldn't pretty much ask for much better boots at this level, except that they have movement speed, intelligence, vitality, magic fine, monster experience. I will put those on very quickly. That was pretty nice. Ooh, got a level two. Yeah, that was that was pretty lucky. Minus oh, minus one armor though. Ow, oh, I don't know. You're right. I should probably give him up. <laughs> got mass confusion. Mass confusion is pretty awesome at high levels. Um, 
not too much at low levels. It's kind of the way that this game kind of works. Low levels crowd control isn't um, super awesome, but it, later on it's pretty good, and like in the, uh, the higher difficulties. Well, not so uh, in hardcore more so. If you're playing softcore, it's not that big of a deal. Which I was actually, I was actually on playing a little bit earlier, playing a softcore barbarian. Um, anything else? Oop, got attacked. Let's see, hex. Hex is pretty cool. Um, kind of like my abilities right now, though. It's kind of hard if you're playing a uh, hardcore witch doctor. You want dogs, you, and you want your gargantuan. Um, you know, they're really useful. Um, then you want Spirit Walk because it breaks crowd control, it's awesome. So, that doesn't leave you a whole lot of room. You can go for your other stuff. You can go with, you know, Soul Harvest if you want more damage. You can go with crowd control. Oops, that guy got picked up. <laughs> uh, let's see how... Sp Locust Swarm does, but eh, not too bad. Slurpers. for their weekend. Everyone have any awesome plans going on? Since I live such an exciting life, I, I think I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow. Ooh. Living the high life now. Civ 5. I never got too much into the Civilization games. I've played some of them, but um, I s I'm certainly not very good at it. I, like I said, <laughs> but um, I know a lot of people like them. They're pretty cool, though, overall, from what I've seen. You would think I would have played it since I like strategy games. Playing um, Caesar two, Caesar three. Well, my original, like my our very first family computer as a kid. I think it was two. I want to say it was a DOS game. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. That was a great game. Uh, I also remember we had Torrens Passage, which was an old Sierra adventure game. I don't. That's on. It's on GOG, um, the website. I have it again. I don't know if anybody's played that one either. Uh, good old Warcraft custom games. Oh, Warcraft. Oh, Warcraft. Mod for Civ 2. Oh, sorry. I read that wrong, yeah.
Nevertheless, Warcraft 3 custom maps were awesome. I spent many hours playing Footman Frenzy. That was that was our game that I like to play in Warcraft 3. Uh, more damage, but I lose a lot of life. And that's not a big damage increase to use. Oops. Really doesn't matter at this level. I mean, even if it's hardcore, I should be fine. I do kind of like a uh, locust swarm. It's actually pretty cool. Transferring to Bastion's keep is as dull as I imagined. The soldiers spend most of their time gambling. Never really used it on my uh, should expect from this on my uh, 60 witch doctor. Shadow of its former glory. Still yeah, I had a friend who uh, loved Hero Arena games. Hero Line Wars. He also really loved Hero Line Wars. Uh, I never cared for those. Well, they're okay. I should pick up more stuff for uh, salvaging. For making stuff. We got mortar. Let's get them off there and it'll be no problem. Rare helmet, huh? How bad are you going to be? That's not that bad. Lose a little intelligence, gaining a lot of life. I lose a socket, which kind of sucks, but... Since I don't have very, any good gems right now, I'll go ahead and put that on. For now. I'll probably... And for more armor. I'll probably change it out sometime. I'm sure there will be some upgrades I'll be able to get. You can't really tell what's going on, but you can see all the, the little green stuff flying around, so... It looks like Pestilence is working. It's a real cluster of crap going on. Demon from hell. You could go from that. That'd be even a little more generic. Well, that one's demonic hellflyer. Ah, now that is pretty awesome right there. These guys hit like a truck, too. This colossal Golgor is merely Last a colossal myth. In folklore, they are something. You're a welcome sight, hero. Yeah. Was, it, was that what he was? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've seen the tech demo. Was that that boss? What in the hells was that? An illusion. 
to drive. We've seen the a catapults go. What do you know? Alright, now we gotta take out some catapults. Or no, I'm sorry, we gotta raise some catapults. I don't think they'd appreciate it if we destroyed it. Ooh, change this level. Well, we'll run into regular enemies of them. See, so yeah, there, there's one right there. Running into a boss pack of them is never good. They can wreck your face really bad. Rare gothic shield, huh? Now let's see. You know, that's not that. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Too bad that's not intelligence instead of, instead of strength, though. Now I'll just keep what I got for now. Thankfully, lightning and chain is nowhere near as dangerous as it was in Diablo 2. And we'll take that. I don't mind the design of the little ones. I think they, they're they pretty similar to what they were. Obviously they're a little bit different, but... Oh, it's the uh, key guy. This was added in. I don't think I've ever fought him before. He only matters in Inferno mode. I mean, he's like an extra boss for now. He's got a lot of life. Yeah, this guy is new. Oh no, lag! Do you see that enemy over there? Let us cleanse it from this land. Getting a little nasty lag. And we got a boss too. Probably my internet connection. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god. Did you guys see how low my health was there? <laughs> I'm thinking that's my internet connection. Yeah, that, ooh, Jesus. That guy hurts. Ah, uh, you, you can't, can't just do that. There's a countdown. You can pause it, but you can't just leave the game. I kind of like that they, they did that, so you can't... Uh. Needs more time. So. 
Note to self, don't get hit by that blizzard, that hurts. Uh, I'd rather have it that way so you can't just, uh, if you're in a bad situation, you can't just easily get out of it. Well, that was, uh, interesting. I'm gonna go to town for now. The demon's presence has grown stronger. I can see them everywhere. They are angry now. Leah seems so... I can see the signal fire, but though the battlement... Thanks, Tyrael. Well, if you pause the game, you should be okay if you're able to. Because pausing does work if you're playing by yourself. It'll pause the game. As long as the lag works out for it. <laughs> hey, I can make a rare belt. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make that rare belt. See if I make a decent one. That's not decent. That's terrible. Strength, dex, vitality. Well, that's not for me, but better than what I've got on, so... Put that on, why not? No rare weapons I can make. Mm, latency seems a little bit better. Need more time. Go buy a couple more potions. Don't oh, worry, then we'll get going. Let's see how the demons like it when our catapult. Oh, I can get better ones. On them, eh? Even better. All right, let's get going. Probably between the combo of my crappy internet, streaming and playing Diablo, an online game, it's probably what was causing the issue there. I need to get me a new weapon, that's what I want. New weapon so I can blow through all these guys. You know, it would have been fun though if I would have died on stream. <laughs> Um, well, I, I could switch it up, Shulene. Okay, well. Unfort- The thing is, yeah, like, some of them really do kind of suck, that, that need some work. Like, for my prime- well, your primary ability for a Witch Doctor is bas basically no mana. Um, Corpse Spiders is not too bad, actually. Leaping Spiders is kind of cool. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not my favorite, though. 
Um, Plague of Toads. Um, some people really like it. I'll try it out. But it's not my favorite. Right, yeah. I mean... There's not a whole lot in the sense that some of the runes are pretty bad, yeah. They, they do need some work because some are just like so much better in a sense. Like the, the poison darts, the one that shoots three at a time, that's really good. Um, it's fast, it does good damage, you know. I, I mean this fire one, you know, it's not too bad, but like this one here with the frogs. But I don't really like the close range that I have to get with it. You know, see, I don't like getting my... And it's got a little bit random directions to it. It's not too bad. I mean, it's got some AoE capability for it, then. Um. You must be the one that lit the signal fire. Help me free you know, um... Of course, Spiders is kind of cool, because... And it's actually pretty useful if you are playing through the game when there are the exploding fallen guys those guys are really nasty because you can use it around corners and the spiders will oh, the spiders will leap to the enemies so you can use it to scout um, Let's protect the recruits while they rise the so that's not bad either but I personally like the uh, firebomb it gives me decent range it has some AoE capabilities and um, so I kinda like that one but that's in terms of uh, primary abilities for your mana dump. You know, I was using the Grasp of the Dead a lot. Um, Fire Bats is pretty cool too. They have some good ones. They have some really high damage ones. But, um, which I probably should have actually been using because um, I could have gone through stuff a little bit quicker. I know I'm, I know I make it look like that there's not a lot of options in the sense and there's not as many as there should be. Some stuff still needs love to make it more appealing. But there really are more options really than what I'm kind of doing. You kind of see I don't I don't really like the toads a whole lot cuz you have to get close and you have to deal with this then. So we'll try out the corpse spider so. But you can see how they jump to it, so that's pretty nice. Without a doubt, you can be really far away, but then use them to jump to enemies. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Without a doubt. You know, in D2, some, you know, depending on your class, but most slow level skills you really don't. I mean, you don't use a whole lot. You know, if like you're a wizard or you know, stuff like that. Well, you know, they've done some stuff. Except for synergy reasons. But I do like the fact that the very first skill you start with is effective throughout the whole game. You know, it might not be the best, but um, it certainly can be useful. There's nothing wrong about using it. But, yeah, so I mean, I can just kind of use it as just fire and spam. I don't even need to worry about aiming with this one. And it's not bad damage. It adds up. Oh, okay. What were you talking? What were you meaning? Um. Yeah. Scouts report that more okay, boats need one. to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men.
should be getting attacked here in just a second. Jump to two additional targets instead of one. Hundred percent chance. Awesome. All right. So what do we get? We also got a new passive. All your damage is increased by twenty percent, but your mana costs are increased by thirty percent. We'll go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just switch back to Firebomb right now. <laughs> they're they're pretty they're pretty nice just sitting there, aren't they? They're cool with us killing us. If you listen to the uh, lure from um, from um, Kane about them when you kill the first one, apparently they they say that the the legend of them are says that their spines go all the way to hell or something like that and that's where the guy is coming from. I mean obviously it's just whatever, but it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're basically Nidus, uh, pe Nidus guys from StarCraft. Oh yeah, I gotta turn the winch. You can, I think you can skip all the um, stuff that I did and just come straight to here, and it'll just complete itself. So you, if you don't want to wait around, you don't have to. This guy bitches at you if you don't hit the winch fast enough. Try to get my Enchantress a new weapon. Alright, there's our catapults. Uh, promise Captain Hell I'd watch my temper. Do me a favor, and don't mention that I shouted at you. Yeah, it's pretty cool down there. You can see there's the uh, Siege Breaker. We'll be seeing him soon. He's pretty cool. He was also from the tech demo. See, like this, he pops up. Oh, so that didn't really matter. Now I'm inside your keep. <laughs> so, yeah, he's also from the tech demo. I think one one of these levels you can start running into the guys who explode. They are not fun. We got a boss. This fire actually really hurts. Needs more time. 
Yeah, you gotta have a right balance between how much the villain shows up and how much that they don't. Um, when I play Final Fantasy IV next, I'm gonna really... I would love Final Fantasy IV. I think they do the perfect amount with, uh... Um, oh god, now I can't even think of his name. Golbez, there we go. Yeah, Golbez. I love Golbez in Final Fantasy IV. Plus, he has the most awesome theme ever, so I mean... That only adds to his awesomeness. Yeah, see, look how much damage that fire did just from like a second over it. it took about a quarter of my life. The truth finds you. I like Final. F Actually, at first, I did not like Final Fantasy IX. I'll be honest. At first time I played it, I hated the characters. Steiner pissed me off. I hated Zidane. Um, the only one I liked was um, Vivi. Um, but I played it a few more times, and then I, you know, I started to like it more. It's it's a good game. And I mean, hero yeah. Will not expect us to attack from below. Send in the ravening beast. I didn't like towards the. Oh my God. I didn't like um, towards the end of the game. Um. Um. That like all the bosses, they would always have counter attacks to every single ability you had, like the final boss in particular. Like every single move, he always gets a, a counter attack in. Then he gets his regular moves. It just uh, it was really annoying. But uh, yeah, the game grew on me as it when I played it a couple more times. Oh my god, you're ten levels ahead of me. Apparently my fiance thought it should be funny to get on Diablo and talk to me. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, but you're ten levels ahead of me. Now she's gonna make me feel bad. <laughs> the truth binds you. I love, uh... Ooh, God, I hate these guys. I love when they're nice and grouped up like that and just big fireball takes them out. Hey, hey. Wear chest armor. Last time, I don't... Ooh, God, that's terrible. Oh. Oh, that's right, you checked, yeah. Usually this place is pretty big. Yeah. 
At least your 60 is still alive, though, unlike a couple other people's. <laughs> We had a few friends who died at 60 in Hardcore. They don't play anymore. Hurry up and level. But once I'm done with Act 3 though, I'm gonna go back to playing Final Fantasy. Ooh, that's a big group. This is gonna be crazy. I think she's trying to make me feel bad. <laughs> hmm, yeah, that's pretty nice. See how much it jumps right there. Here we go. Keep going on. No point to go to town. The demons are insidious. They will stop at nothing in order to seize this keep and all the world with it. Other rare boots. Well, if I was a demon hunter or a monk, I'd like those. Dex and vitality. Hmm. Need more mama. I strike at your heart. Yeah, I think I might stick with uh, the locust swarm for a while. What are you going to do? Yeah, they are. They, um... They're another one of those, um... If you run into a boss pack of them, they're really... Oh! 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 Exploders! Oh my god! Thank god I got out of there. That is why I have Spirit Walk. Holds that they are the offspring of Bull Cathal. Oh God, that was scary. Who embody their ideals of strength, bravery, and courage. But yeah, these are another one. If you run into a uh, boss pack, then you got to be really careful at higher difficulties. Yeah, these guys don't want to let them explode. See, they tore apart my guys there. Focus swarm and run. Frozen boss pack in there somewhere. Oh, Jesus. I do think they have lowered how much damage those exploders do, but uh, 
I'm not going to stick around and find out from them. Especially when there are four of them charging at you. Much better than the Act 3 of Diablo 2. Because there's no forest. That's. That's for sure. God, screw the forest. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it was a hard jungle or anything, but, uh. I can summon fetishes as a uh, witch doctor. That's right. It's actually kind of cool. But, um, yeah. Act 3 in Diablo 2 just. Uh. Right, yeah, if you get nailed by an Inferno pack. Ooh, ooh a rare staff. I know a certain enchantress who might like this. I know a certain enchantress who's probably not going to like this. Alright, 20.64 damage. Perfect. It's, no, it's less damage. Well, I could put a ruby in it for more damage, but man, whatever, it doesn't matter. She's not going to do that much damage anyway. Damn, look at that locust swarm spread. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that for a while. Wow, that is awesome. I can see why it could be used at higher levels if uh, you have really good gear and just blow through stuff. Do you want intelligence? Heck yeah, I think she's gonna like this. You are too kind. Seven damage increase. I'm so excited over the, the slow level stuff. <laughs> Shut up, is already inside your walls, and his <laughs> Twenty-eight. You can tell I'm ahead because I'm not usually this level until later. All right. Your zombie dogs absorb ten percent of all damage done to you. Yeah. Now this actually works a little bit differently than what it sounds like. It doesn't mean that like if I take 100 damage, they take 10% of it and they take 90. What that means is, if I remember right, 10% of the time they will just absorb all the damage that I take. Which equals out about 10% of the damage. So it's a little bit different than what it sounds like. I actually don't like this rune for having it bounce. I'm not going to use it. Uh, eh, don't care about that. Lowering the cooldown. Well, I think that's how it works. Because I'm pretty sure that's how some of the other ones work. Let me see if I can get hit. I'll see if they just... Oh, my, they died. See if they would hit me, and then if we can see the absorb come up. Because he's doing about the same damage here. Oh, I don't want to die. <laughs> hey, 
if you're gonna get something, you might as well show it off, right? But, uh, it, it's not bad. I, I like it until you get a later, um, zombie dog room. Which is something like, they, like, 10% of the damage they do is returned to you as health or something like that. And I think it's the final zombie dog room. It's pretty good. I like it. It can equal out to a couple hundred life per second, which is quite a lot. Oops. Because really, their their damage really is never consequential. The amount of damage that they will do, so having them be able to give you some life per second back is not bad. <laughs> ah, I found the boss. Um, let's go clear just a little bit more. Why not? I hope the soldiers on the ramparts are holding their own without us. Maybe if there's any more to clear. Alright, whatever. We'll just go on. Need more time. Oops. The larder. This guy's a little weird. Gom the larder. He's actually pretty hard on uh, high difficulties. The one who killed Lord Belial. I will save her, tearing the flesh from your bones. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, he'll really cover this room in poison. Um, the Lord of Gluttony, which makes sense for his name, and high difficulties, and he's, he's actually really pretty challenging. He'll often have these little ads that come out and things like that. Yeah, I, I don't like him at all at high levels. Pretty easy and most things are. Marion and ooh, witch doctor. Alright, so it still had the same plus damage, but a lot more intelligence. A little more magic find has life per second. Same maximum mana. A little more mana regeneration, but an empty socket. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. This I can't use because it's a barbarian weapon. Oh, wait a minute. An easily missed book. The human prisoners are panicking now. They must have noticed that threat to victory. Yep, see Asmodan. Alright, let's put a, um... Well, we want to put a Topaz into that for more intelligence for an other socket. Terrifying noises were coming from the armor. 
Uh, well, I got a new offhand. That's not bad. Get rid of all this old stuff. I wish there was, well, kind of wish that there was a salvage all button, but also, again, I don't because I know I would make a mistake and salvage an item I wanted. Kind of a double-edged sword. Can make a two-handed staff, huh? Level 28. My enchantress is almost 28. Why not? Let's make this. Attack speed, critical hit damage. Crappy damage, but... I'm sure that's an upgrade for her, and I'm gonna put a ruby in there to increase the damage on it. Too bad I don't have any good rubies. Anyway. I'll keep that for her when she hits level 28. I'm sure... Yeah, I'm sure that's a large damage increase for her. I am losing control! Bam! And just let this do the job. The soul stone seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows short. Yeah, anyway. Basically, we're taking the fight to Asmodan. Going out in the open. Talk to my friend in a while, so. <laughs> mm. the Herald's a pestilence. We're gonna run into some really nasty guys. Not these ones. Except when they turn like that. They used to knock you back. Um when they would turn like that, like if they would hit you, they would have a 100% knockback. And that was so annoying, but thankfully they got rid of that. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, these guys right back here. These are Heralds of Pestilence. They had to be lowered in damage. Let's see if they'll do it to me. That right? No, no, he didn't do it. Well, we'll run into it. Anyway, they will um, slam their hand into the ground. They're kind of like the guys from Act Five of uh, Expansion, Diablo Two. But <coughs> um, instead of just having spikes come out, they have this. Uh, they put a poison pool on the ground that does about a million damage per second. No joke. It's like a bazillion damage. At least I'm getting rares. That's nice. Dex, vitality, crap and crap. You're too late. We will all perish. Alright. I know I died quite a few times to these guys leveling up. 
Yeah, that right there. Oh my god. Dogs are dead. Are losing hope. Espionage. The fiends' numbers seem endless. They come at all times, day oh. or night. Okay. And no cool. Of casualties we inflict slows their advance. Bridges <laughs> unsteady. We must be swift. Field to slaughter. Ah, here we go. Yeah, one of these guys. God. Uh, thankfully, they all went for my minions. Now, yeah, imagine you're playing a class that, like a barbarian, that could be really bad right there. Having to stand toe to toe to them. I kind of like that they have the uh, scoundrel, uh, the other one of the other guys. He uses the uh, as his token. He uses dice. Kind of reminds me of a uh, sensor. Jesus, so many guys. Uh, this is where it can get interesting. <laughs> and that's crap. Caverns of Frost. Oops. I do not have no mana. I think that's everybody. Good. Yeah, I really need to get a new weapon for myself. I'm not doing enough damage anymore. Even when I use my uh, buff move right there. Victory! Do you see that enemy over there? Needs Let us more cleanse time. it from this land. <laughs> Close as she to a level. She's almost got a level. Then she can use that stat. There. 
I think in this zone there is uh, one of the random dungeons can be the one where you have to get a piece for it to make the uh, pony level. But I've uh, never gotten it. I think. Spread some pestilence around. Got another catapult. Oh god, that's a lot of guys. Blew my spirit walk. You have to be careful with that around frozen. I think the pestilence took care of him, so it's fine by me. Okay, is that how you pronounce it? Need more money. Oh, there we go, trebuchet. That she just said it for me. And she had twenty-eight, awesome. So let's see, 27.7, 41.02, not bad. Wish I had intelligence instead of nothing, but that's eh, not bad. I hate that's better stats than what I got. Fireballs from these guys. There is nothing I know more than failure. You know this well. But if any of you may have told a lesson, I do not I will have you mind. delivered it to the circle of wrath with great haste. <laughs> yeah, see right there, we destroy all that, and he's like, oh, I don't need it. In the middle of the army of hell, it will crush you. Oh, hello. So, yeah, it's just... Pretty and just weird. I could no longer see. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Tyrael joins us, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He doesn't do anything, hardly, but whatever. Ah, this bridge is always full of, like, a billion enemies. Act 3 is really dense of enemies, actually. I think in the next patch, they're working on making the earlier acts more dense as well. Because... <laughs> Even though that they've made changes to make any act um, fine for farming for items in Inferno mode, because Act 3 is much more dense, it's still the best place to do it. Apparently all you guys are creepy. <laughs>
Um, these blood clans, I don't know. I think they might be related to the Goatman people, but uh, they're probably different. Because I think the Blood Clan was like ones from like previous ones. But they might be different because they don't look like the ones from Act 1, I think. But then again, I don't know. Hey, Chick Norris! Okay, yeah, D2. Yeah, so I don't know if they're related to him, but different. How are you doing this evening? Why are you out here alone? All of my lives are dead. And I mean to see these bastards suffer for what they've done. Are you with me? Here they are! Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. The ones in the skies have finally graced us with their presence. Cut them down! Those worms have come up from behind. Bloody adorable! They're trying to ambush us! Oh, thanks, yeah. It's it's pretty fun. Oh, no wonder there's so many guys. There's, uh, seats, or hell breakers. Ain't, oh, oh god, we got a boss. Yeah, so I was wondering if they were different. Ooh. They're all dead and we're not. I'd call that a win, eh? I'll hold this bridge. Go on. You have a demon lord's head to put on a pike. Be careful, Captain. Okay, I'll try and remember. Actually, I have a terrible memory, so I won't remember, but <laughs> I'll try to. I promise. Ah, look at that spread, right to all of them. 29, we're almost at 30. Once we get to 30, we get our final, um, uh, passive slot, too. Alright, so let's see what we got. Fire bats, plague bats. Ah, uh, don't care. Spirit walk. When you are weary and the darkness increases m your maximum mana when you're in spirit. That's not bad, um, but it's better more so in soft core. Uh, jump having it for three seconds a lot better. Restless giant. Some people like this one. It's basically if you encounter an elite monster or more than five enemies, your gargantuan enrages and gets all these benefits. But it can only happen once every two minutes. I don't like that. I prefer to have him have the cleave ability, so he's has guaranteed AOE plus uh, a little more damage. But some people like it. It's not that bad. How am I doing on this space? Doing fine. Once I beat the next boss, I'm gonna. Try and see if I can't craft a weapon for myself. Even if I have to take a hit on vitality, I think I'll just go ahead and do it. So I really could use a new one. My damage is only 174 right now. Do you see that enemy over there? Teleporter. It's fine. The truth finds you. 
Templar and Socketed. I do wish that they would have given you more slots for your followers, like armor and stuff as well, but... Eh. Bridge stores. Sometimes they're rares here. We can't all be warriors. Someone needs to sell the equipment. Yeah, here we go. Dexterity and intelligence. With one socket. I don't like that. Tower shield, yeah. Nothing good. I don't think I've ever encountered this guy. The purple ones are either there for events or they're um, just like random as well that show up. And I don't think I've ever seen him before. There's an achievement for finding them all and killing them all, but I never care for achievements. Now my fiance, on the other hand, She lives and breathes for achievements and wild pets. Oh man, wild pets. Oh, fleeting shrine. Movement speed in, increased pickup radius. Oh, that's so nice. I think it gives you 20 extra yard range and like 20% movement speed or something like that. What does it say? No. Probably would if I went to my detailed stats. Hey hey! Oh, mighty belt. Of course, the rare that I get for a barbarian. the underbridge. Yeah, we'll clear it out. Why not? I think these ones are usually pretty small. Fade the doom. Don't watch out for any exploding guys. I figured you would have known that already, Zydana. Yeah, he's stepping down. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, future patches, more so it's probably going to be in the expansion where you'll see any effect from a new person. But it'll be kind of interesting to see how that goes. Cleared enough for me. Need more time. We're almost at the next boss anyway. Mm, got plenty of room. Ooh, boss. Normal Vortex is fine because they don't have any other nasty combinations. Not so much later on. Edge of the Abyss. To fight Loot Breaker. That was what this guy used to be called. Eldruin will destroy the demonic seal protecting this gate.
Hello, guy from Tech Demo. He actually can, uh, he can pick you up, like, in the... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we can zoom in, make him look bigger. But, um, he can pick you up and, like, attack you, kind of like in the, uh, demo, tech demo, but he's not that hard. Even that, I mean, not that, not that bad. I'm only getting hit because I'm trying to hit him with pestilence. I stay back here, I'm fine. Ow! He does have a really long range, apparently. And dead. <laughs> Two rare plate leggings, okay. Thanks, game. Strength, intelligence, socket, that's no good. <sighs> I would lose intelligence, gain vitality, and have the same amount of sockets. Yeah, I'm going to put that on because I can put an intelligence gems in there as well. All the world shall be oh, that's not like too bad then. Alright, let's... Salvage ho! Hmm, I can make a one-handed sword, huh? 1.4, oh, good. Let's go ahead and make this. See if I can't make a decent one for myself. That is pretty good. I'm gonna put that on. I wish I had a little bit more damage, but or a socket, but good intelligence, good vitality, strength, whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Let's actually let's. My damage almost doubles, <laughs> 167 to uh, 300. That's pretty nice. All right, let's make some gems for uh, this here. Yeah, we'll just put some intelligence gems in here. You can finally get some rest. I feel fine. I can tell you. Three eighteen point six seven to DPS. Now that's not too bad. Considering that's just about double where I was at, I will definitely take it. And I get a cool little fire sword now. Aria Crater. You've killed one of my playthings. <laughs> now, you have my undivided attention. Another demon. She will die like the rest of them. Yeah, he went down a little bit quicker.
Anyway, getting a better weapon also helps my minions as well, too, because all their damage is based off my damage. Because my zombie dogs do 9% of my physical damage, and then my gargantuan does... 130% because he has a cleave, so. Fall in fire. The tormented stingers may resemble giant scorpions. But in truth, they are molded from the bodies of human sacrifices. The demons twist their victims into the stingers' distinctive forms. Electrifying. Over their chest, Nothing to worry about. Mutilating their legs. Met by pain, these creatures can poison their prey with a single strike. A most thrilling battle. Now you can tell I'm doing a lot more damage than what I was. Oh, hello. What is that thing? You are evil on dogs. Jesus. So is anybody in here doing anything exciting this weekend? Anybody going any place? My sisters would 29. Back home to college. Uh, Mahjong? Like, wait. Wait. Don't make me feel stupid. Is that a place? I, I feel stupid asking that question for asking what Mahjong is. I feel like I should know it. Okay, it's a game. That's right. I knew I sounded familiar. Were you just back on like a uh, visiting Chick Norris, or is it like a start of a quarter or semester for you or something? Unfortunately, yeah, the Aria Crater can be very big and um, a little bit mazy. Oh, going home and leaving, yeah. Hi, Dust Zero. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 that makes sense now. How are you doing tonight, Dust? Need more time. Um, let's head up this way, northeast. Oh, I'm, well, pretty much the same old as well, too. <laughs> I'm actually pretty decently far through Act 3. I'm, I would say I'm probably about three-fourths of the way through, but uh, it's the weekend, no work, so I mean, you know, I can't really complain. I got my W-2 so I can do my taxes, even though I know I'm not going to get anything back this year. I actually figured it out. Um, it should end up being right on the dot. The amount I had taken out in taxes should be exactly the amount 
um, that what I would be my liability. So I get excited because uh, uh, I studied accounting in college, so you know I had to take tax class, so <laughs> I get a little too excited by it. Probably more than I really should. I'm sure my fiance would think I'm weird for that. Yeah, she does. She just won't admit it. You know, she studied the same thing I did. <laughs> That money's money. I don't even. It feels like it's not even fair how much more damage. Treasure Goblin! How much more damage I'm doing. Let's see. Falls. Red legs again. Jesus. Got plenty of those. And those are pretty crappy. Latency's still doing okay. Succubi, they're back. I was getting, I, uh, when I first got on, I was getting some really bad lag. The succubi are still very annoying. They do that, they have that backflip or whatever. But, um, yeah, I was getting really bad lag, and I came within a sliver of dying. <laughs> That's true. If I was my friend, it wouldn't matter. He would blame Blizzard no matter what. But, um, I'm pretty sure it was my, uh, internet. My internet sucks. Those phase beasts are nasty. They will go invisible. They're kind of like this, the dudes from Act 2. They will go invisible, and then they will teleport onto your ass. And they do a lot of damage in higher difficulties. Yeah, that, that's pretty much my friend. Something goes wrong, and blame Blizzard. Doesn't matter. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. You can throw that stuff to them right there. <laughs> so if you had a boss sitting there, you could just start pelting them. I thought they changed that, though, but I guess I was wrong. Pretty much, this idea is a little... She's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> they really do do it a little too much in this game, yeah. <laughs> I am almost a level 30. That's pretty awesome. Oh god. Yeah, you saw that one right there. He teleported in. Like that right there. 200 damage per hit. That's not bad for normal difficulty. I honestly haven't played Diablo 1 in so long. I was a terrible person back in the day. I did do my share of playing hacked characters online and uh, using cheats online. I, I was a kid, I will admit it, but I, I also had a very, very rough experience um, first time playing online. Diablo 1 was my very first online game, and so I had you know, no idea what I was doing. And I, I made a, um, a rogue, I want to say? Yeah, a rogue it was. 
and I was playing online, and you know, I uh, you know I hit the join game list. I saw a level one game. I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing, but I had played a little bit. But all right, you know, I'll jump in and play. So there's a warrior in there already, and he's like, you know, hey, we're getting we're heading towards you know the level one dungeon. I'm like, okay, cool. And there's also a uh, sorcerer in there as well. So we head that way. And we had, I had a really bad computer, even for Diablo 1 standards. And so I'm going through there. And finally, it took me like probably like two minutes to load level 1. Finally, when it loads, I'm dead. The warrior's dead. And the sorcerer's there, reviving us over and over using his auto kill, which was a cheat move, uh, cheat spell that you had, which would automatically res you and kill you automatically. So I've never played online. I played played Diablo One on single player, but I'd never played online. Then this is happening. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know, I keep getting killed, brought back to life, killed, brought back to life. You know, my very first time. And so finally, the uh, yeah, the uh, wizard leaves. And then the warrior is like, the warrior, I'm like, you know, I chat to the warrior, I'm like, what the heck just happened? I have no idea. And then he ex tries explaining to me it's wrong, obviously. He says, oh, wizard, the sorcerer class are cheaters. If any, if one joins our game, we're going to uh, play or kill him. I'm like, uh, okay. I mean, I didn't know. As sorcerer joins the game then, a legit level one. He's like, hey, guys, what's going on? And we're like, the warrior's like, we're, we're in the beginning of level one if you want to come here. And, you know, he, he kind of like says something to me, probably like, you know what to do to me. And I'm like, okay. I really didn't know how to turn on the PK system then. As soon as the uh, sorcerer loads down in there, warrior goes to town on him and starts beating the crap out of him. And I start shooting at him. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And so we end up killing him the legit level sorcerer and he's freaking out he's like what the hell are you guys doing oh my god Ooh, that's not bad lose a couple vitality gain a socket and it's, yeah so we ended up killing this legit sorcerer who had you know, no problem you know wasn't doing anything wrong and uh, that was my very first online experience with any game that was a, a very rude hello to online gaming but yeah, I certainly have not forgotten that. Yeah, getting some more latency. Ooh. Hey, another rare. Pretty much, yep. That's a lot of intelligence, but uh... Kinda sucks, so too bad it has crappy damage. Yeah, the big guys in the back are pretty cool. But, yeah. Online gaming at its finest, even back then. Oh, you are so eager. I suppose I should introduce myself. I am Sedea, maiden of the cost of Asperger. Half spider, half woman. My god, another rare set of leggings. It's like my tenth pair I've had. A lot more vitality, but... Oh, screw it. I'll just probably just keep what I got on for now. Ooh, Jesus. 
That is why I do not like these guys. But thankfully I got better weapons now. And level 30, awesome. That gives us a new passive ability. Oh, Spirit Vessel. Okay, this one is pretty much mandatory for hardcore. Um, lowers a cooldown on some key spells like uh, Soul Harvest and Spirit Walk. But if I take Fatal Damage, it puts me in the Spirit Walk and then puts me to 15% maximum life. And it can only, ha can only happen once every minute and a half, but... Oops, I should click on it. But yeah, it's... Uh, that is a guarantee. That is a must-have hardcore witch doctor passive. It's a free fuck-up passive. Oops, you're gonna die. Well, you can come back. So close. I've had it proc on my uh, level 60 witch doctors in hardcore, and that was scary. Because th that means I would have died if you, you know, if you don't have it. So that can be a little. That'll get the blood pumping. But um, yeah, it's a great passive. It also, I mean, it also lowers cooldowns on some key abilities, so. like Spirit Walk. Ooh, so nice. Yeah, look at that pestilence spread. Oh, I also got some new spells. I got Fetish Army which is a two minute cooldown and you get a crap ton of fetishes that come out and help you which is the final spell which is ooh, it's pretty cool um, I've, I've seen builds based around it and I think it's a little bit you know it's one of those that might be better in multiplayer kind of things I also notice I'm almost at 100 uh, followers now on Twitch, so... <laughs> almost at triple digits. That's actually kind of cool. I am at 100? Okay, well, that, I didn't know somebody started following me. Well, I have my stream page up. But I have, I have, it doesn't refresh unless, like, I refresh the page, so I still see 99. Alright, well, cool, I'm at 100 then. <laughs> oh, man. I would give you a prize, but I don't have anything to give you. They are. <laughs> They're also uh, really annoying to the spellcasters sometimes. Alright, let's keep going this way. That's uh, one of my good friends I'm from real life. I'm, he's playing WoW right now. I don't play WoW anymore, so I'm just joking. <laughs> I thought about having... Uh, Something like that, you know, like if I had maybe like a like some kind of competition. I don't know, let's say competition or some prize for somebody. Maybe like a you know cheap Steam game or something like that. Or a cheap game from GOG or something like that. I'll probably I'll probably think of something and do something like that sometime. Latency's getting worse. Oh, 
Hesmodan's boss fights, um, I don't think it's as cool as Belial. I love how Belial changes. First time I played the game, like when we were fighting him, you know, I was playing four player at the time with, you know, three of my friends. And, you know, we fought Belial in a small form. We're like, okay, you know, that was, that was easy. And then all of a sudden, brah, he comes flying out of the ground and crap like that. It was pretty cool. It, it was pretty great your first time. And he's probably, without a doubt, the hardest of the uh, prime evil fights. Or the evil fights. <laughs> he attacks fast. Um, that explosion stuff will kill you in a heartbeat. His poison spray is nasty. Aha, I can get that from here. I think I'm just gonna beat Act 3 tonight. It's really, I'm actually getting pretty close to it, so I might as well just finish it. And then I think this weekend, then, I'll go ahead and start um, Final Fantasy 4. I love that game so much. I wish I could play the PSP version though for you. Uh, that's not the way I want to go. But I can't. Close as she to 30. Almost. At 30, I'm going to give her this aura that increases attack speed by 3%. That's not huge, but it's pretty nice. She also has this mind control lob, has a 30 second cooldown. You can, or, yeah, it turns, it uh, hexes him. Yeah, it turns him like basically into chicken. It's not bad, except, um, and it's not needed at low levels. And having the, uh, Attack speed increase, it's just really nice, plus it affects all my minions. But uh, I think this is probably what I'll keep her with. She also has charm at level, uh, that's a pretty nice ability in Inferno mode. You're so close now. I can almost feel your breath on my skin. The anticipation is... There's not, but uh, the PSP, you, it has the capability of playing on a TV through composite cables. So if you have a capture card that captures the composite capability, then you can, you know, you could stream that way. But I don't have a capture card, so. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have the composite cable for the PSP, so I can play it on my TV. Uh, that was only like five bucks, you know, that wasn't expensive or anything. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool for the PSP to be able to do that. Playing handhelds on the TV, that kind of kind of different, but whatever. 
Reflux damage. Reflux damage is being changed, thankfully, next patch. I think it upscales the image a little bit when you play it on the TV, but not like the full amount. I, I don't know exactly how it works. And I'm not super knowledgeable on it. <laughs> Another boss, damn. I'm not complaining, that's for sure. And she got to 30, alright. Let's get that. Ah, I think this is the way. Anyway, yeah, that also increased my attack speed, so... Here's my details. Yeah, you can see my attack speed's at 1.43, even though my weapon is 1.40. Not very much, but hey, 3%. And it increases my damage, that's all that matters. Ah, here we go. Boss time. You know what, let's switch up a skill. Let's bring... Fetish Armory. Since we've never used that before. We'll use it here. Oh yes, I've been I'll, I'll this go. to this. Oh, that was unexciting. Anyway, yeah, you summon it and you get, like, tons of, tons of them. Look at that. You can't control them or anything, but... Yeah, they kind of go crazy. Playing with your corpse. <laughs> oh, where'd she go? Uh, she's not supposed to do. There she is. Okay, good. God, she's not. I was, she was not supposed to do that. Freaked me out for a second. She bugged out. Anyway, yeah, you can those fetishes, and um, I can't do it. But um, the hex spell it summons a fetish shaman as well, who hexes enemies, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got for these rares. Got a bell, which. is much better. Has intelligence, more vitality. Use that in a heartbeat. And a two-handed monk item, which does mean no good whatsoever. What was the pun? Um, Zydana, I wasn't paying attention. Do, 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 do. I've already looked at this stuff, so I know I'm not using it. Let's see if I can make anything really quick. Can't equip. Any level 30 rares? I can make. Um, yeah, I'm going to make these shoulder books, because I have crappy ones that have 8 and 9 <laughs> intelligence and vitality. Holy crap. 
Ooh. Yeah, let's see if I can get an intelligence vitality one. On game, be nice to me. Be nice to me. Intelligence and vitality. Come on. Hey, the last one. All right. Or yeah, whatever. It's not too bad. 25 intelligence is a little low for my level, but a little monster experience, that's not bad. Pick up range, that's always nice. Because pick up range is terrible. Alright. So our next place is going to kill Asmodan, which won't be that long. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to, um, oh, I guess, some... oh, Wall of Zombies is unfortunately, it sounds really cool, but it's not actually any good. You know what? Let's use Acid Rain for a while through this next area. It's a little overkill with Locust Swarm, but... It's going to give me a lot of AoE capabilities. I might actually blow through too much of my mana to use both of these skills. Yeah, I'm going to switch off of this. And yeah. yeah, we'll just stick to Soul Harvest. I like the healing capability of it. Treasure Goblin! Hey, hey, rare item. And not very good. Not terrible, but no vitality. Right? Frenzy Shrine, alright. 25% attack speed, that's so nice. Ooh, and we're really close to Asmodan. I'm gonna try and hustle my way to him. That way I can use it on him. And yeah, here we go. Heart of Sin. That's kinda nice. Dogs need more time. Ah. Nephilim fool, <laughs> the stone has invested my flesh. The seven shall be as one within me. I will be the sum of all hells, the prime evil. Yeah, their their plan is every evil right now is inside the black soul stone and Asmodan wants it so he can turn in have all their essences inside oh shit I need to watch out for that don't let meteor hit you that's right back up Ooh. Ah, 
Ow. And my enchanters just bit the dust. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, it's fine, because you're dead. Pretty much run out of defile, yeah. Gothic shield, spirit mask. Alright, yeah, he's not, he's really not that hard, even in uh, higher difficulties, I think. You just have to watch out for that meteor. I had a my friend I was talking to who plays WoW, he beat uh, Heroic Lich King back We've when it was it. hard. Quickly now, Leah. Trap Asmodan's essence within the soul state. He was pretty happy about that, but uh God they raided so much. I didn't I mean I like messed around with them but it's never done. did that. I never dared dream. All evil lies trapped within that stone. Once it is destroyed, the eternal conflict will finally end. Destroying the stone is no simple matter. There are rituals to consider. We must return to the keep and make our final preparations. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Nia, and Tyria? They are all in the army. Um, no fast, er, yeah. Everything. I know who you Join mean. Peachicide, yeah. The guy who acted like Farnsworth. Mm. Oh man, let's see what happens. Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's oh. eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last. His grand design comes to fruition. Diablo was in for the long con. Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true <laughs> father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel. See you, Leah. I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. And we'll probably fight Adrian in the now, expansion. Now, at last, to my <laughs> true goal, the one that has always eluded me, the utter destruction of the high heaven. <laughs> and thankfully, uh, they left open the portal to heaven. Alright, I'm not going to click this time, so we can enjoy this. It's actually a pretty cool cutscene. I mean, most of Blizzard's always are, but okay, I'm going to be quiet. Bye, 
imagine they might have had the capabilities to come close. I mean, My the heavens had people in hell, so I don't know. No matter what form you choose to wear, let your true self be revealed. Apparently angels bleed gold dust. Diablo. Ever the funny man. Haha. <laughs> Screw that red lightning hose, I hate that. He still uses it when you fight him in this sometimes. Um, I don't remember, if, I don't think it's as powerful as Diablo 2's, but it still hurts. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, <coughs> excuse me, stop for the night. I'll probably be on tomorrow at some point. But I'm going to pick back up with Final Fantasy IV next. Um, I'll come back and play Diablo another time, or maybe if I get bored or something like that. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for stopping by. I know it's a Friday night, so, uh, you know, hey, wasn't as exciting. So, everybody have a good weekend, and I'll catch you later.